Hey, what's going on, family? Today, we're going to talk about Binance ending their support for Ordi or Ordinals NFTs off of the Bitcoin blockchain. Will that affect the price for Ordi or Ordinals? We'll talk about it. But here's the article right here that is being posted on Binance.com website. Binance will soon close its Bitcoin in an NFT marketplace after opening its trading venue to the network's collectibles less than one year ago. Come on, Binance. What are you guys doing? I thought you guys are going to be the forerunner of the cryptocurrency exchange. And now you're going to quit supporting Bitcoin NFT marketplace. In a blog post on Thursday, the crypto exchange said it will cease support for trades and deposits of Bitcoin NFT starting April 18th at 6 o'clock UTC time. Binance exit from ordinals. The exchange noted that its support for, quote, any further airdrops, benefits or utilities, end quote, related to Bitcoin NFTs will wrap up on April the 10th. We're getting all types of dates on this particular post. At one point is April 18th. Now you see it's April the 10th. The decision to cut Bitcoin NFTs is part of Binance's ongoing efforts to streamline product offerings on the Binance NFT marketplace. They're saying it's getting too crowded. And they're like, look, we're just going to drop these NFTs off Bitcoin and focus on the more important ones, I guess. Quote, users will no longer be able to buy, deposit, bid on, or list NFTs on the Binance NFT marketplace via the Bitcoin network. End quote. This is what Binance is saying as if Binance got a voice. Once support ends, listing orders will automatically be canceled. Quote, users are advised to withdraw their Bitcoin NFTs from the Binance NFT marketplace via the Bitcoin network by May the 18th. End quote. That's what Binance is telling you. He's giving you a heads up. Hey, look, we're going to drop support. We're not going to continue to have NFTs off of Bitcoin's network off our NFT marketplace. So I, I advise you guys to go ahead and take it off by May the 18th. Binance first added support for Bitcoin NFTs in May 2023. So a year later, it's gone. When the Ordinals protocol flooded Bitcoin with NFTs and tokens once considered foreign to the legacy blockchain network. It's been fluctuating waves of demand since ascending to prominence, driving Bitcoin network fees to record highs in November. On Wednesday, Franklin Templeton released a report praising Bitcoin ordinals for kickstarting the positive momentum in innovations on Bitcoin over the last year. And here it is. Binance is, is straight dropping them. To get these orders off of my NFT marketplace. What is it going to do to the price? Take a look. First, we're going to talk about our last price prediction, which was right here on March the 1st. It looked like we may have got in a little bit too early because the price in ordinals or already continue to go higher, hit this top portion sale zone. Look at that. And then it came back down. So yeah, we was a little bit too early. I give you all that. But overall, we were accurate in our direction of where order was trying to go. Okay. So we could get rid of this sell zone right here. Get rid of this sell zone here. And the market in ordinals came all the way up here. Volume increase. The price bar ex exceedingly more than what it was the prior couple of trading days. So that validates this sell zone right here. Okay, so we actually can get rid of it and make it a little bit cleaner. So we'll do that there. Okay, and then you guys can see once it got rejected that that sell zone price came back down. It bounced off of our buy zone that we had here and did it a second time. But then it broke it on the third time. It came down to our other buy zone, 14% there. So from March the 1st to March the 16th, 14%. All right, so let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this buy zone because price did not hold it. Let's get rid of this buy zone. Price did not hold it. And we're going to create another one. So 
So we have the ballpark laid out. We know what the sellers are. We know where the potential buyers are. So we're not really seeing too much in terms of a trend except outside of the market and ordinals just simply trade within a range. Here it is on the two day chart. Okay, we just merely trade within a range. I don't see a lot of bias in terms of the market continuing as uptrend or a bias in terms of looking for the price to start a downtrend. It's just trading. Now I do like this last two day price bar though. That looks decent, I like that. Here it is on the three. Okay. So even here on a three day chart, it looks as if the market is leaning more towards looking for price to go up than to go down. Here it is on the five. Here it is on the weekly. Definitely like the weekly chart. Looks pretty bullish in that realm. What about on the two weeks? Same thing there. Here it is on the three. One more look. We're gonna look at this on the 330 minute chart. And I'm not bearish. I will, I will have to say that I would look for price and ordinals to continue to go higher, but I am not going to be a massive bull. Not at all. Nope. Not going to get me to say that. I would become massive bullish if we were to see the price and ordinals break that sales on at the top of the chart. So let me put this, let's see this on the five hour first. Seven. Okay. I want you to see this. So you all would know that we recognize that that is a sale zone. Okay. So now, let me go ahead and put this price prediction on the chart and we'll let you all go. So this is our first target right here at the sell zone, either at the low or the high. At the high, it gets us around like 12%. Then our second target will be at the highs of these two days the 12th and the 13th gets us around like 20 almost 21 percent move there so we just had to see how bullish the buyers are but that's it yeah i'm finished give me your thoughts make sure you maintain the profitability and as always trade different